Hi kids, it's John Henry here, and I design for the LEGO Creator team. And I'm here today to help you to build the awesome new winch function on my latest model, the off-road power truck. One of my mentors here at LEGO is good old Mr. Snail. He's been here for years, and he's a bit of an oracle when it comes to building, so he's going to help me out with this building tip and make sure that um, I get it right basically. Right, we're going to start from step 51 in your instruction booklet uh, where the string is tied to the spool like this. Now I know this is tricky so it might be easier to get someone else to help tie the knot. Uh, Mr. Snail down there helped me to tie mine. Now we need to place the spool onto the winch brick and place the winch brick onto the model like so. Now we need to thread the string through this yellow brick here and I always find it easier to remove the yellow brick um, so that you can grab hold of it and thread the string through like, a, like you're threading a needle. And then place the yellow brick down where it was and then we want to take the string and we go through underneath the bar at the front there. Make sure it doesn't get caught in the wheel and just pull it tight. There we go. Right, the next step is we need to lock down the yellow brick with this blue one and just place this 1x4 blue tile over the top so that it doesn't move out of the way when we come to test it. And the next step is tying on the hook on the front. Now again, if you need help here, don't be afraid to ask. Um, I always find it quite tricky. I'll do my best. Here we go. There we go. That's tied on nicely there. And what we need to do now is to wind the spool. It's very important that here that you wind the spool in the right direction. And what we do is, if you push it this way, the spool doesn't really move very well. But if you push it this way, it makes a nice clicking noise. And that's what we want to hear. So wind the spool like so until the hook here reaches the bar that the string has gone underneath. What's that, Mr. Snail? You want to test it? What, now? Oh, all right then. Well, do you want to watch? OK, right, we'll put you up here so you can see nicely. And then we'll test it. So we pull it out. We, when we press the button, the winch goes in nicely like that. We pull it out and press the button. And then we know that our winch is working. Right, the next step is to build... You'll see in your instruction manual that you build this. And this slider mechanism enables us to activate the switch, the winch uh, switch, from the front of the vehicle. And so we get Mr. Snail out of the way and put him down there. Slide that in. Then what we do is we lock this so that it doesn't come out during play when you guys play with it. We put these two bricks in here, one on each side. And that makes sure that it doesn't, it doesn't go where we don't want it to. Um, the next step that you'll see in your instruction manual is to build the engine. Uh, it's a V6, looks pretty cool, and it fits in nicely just in there. And what's that, Mr. Snail? No, I haven't forgotten. Um, what we need to do now, Mr. Snail is just reminding me, is we need to um, wiggle the string and test it so that we know that the string hasn't got caught in underneath the engine. That's very important. You don't want to finish your model and then not be able to pull the winch out. Once you've built your truck, Yes, Mr. Snell, I haven't forgotten about you. Wait for me. Um, you will want to know how to use the winch properly. And so what we've done with this winch brick is we've added a little red switch inside the engine. Now what this red, red switch lets you do is that it makes you able to rescue the truck and others from dangerous situations without you having to hold down the winch button. Let me demonstrate. We pull out the winch now stays in position and once you press in the front spoiler or the front grill it pulls the winch in. 
then we release the switch and we can do the same thing again. It's really nice that you don't have to use your hands and you can leave the model on its own and the winch goes in. Now you see what happens if I don't release the switch now. The winch just goes in straight away and it's really hard to attach the winch to something else. So you must always remember to flick the switch so that you can pull the winch out, attach it to something and pull it in. From the off-road power set you can build this model, this model and this model. How cool is that?